Okay, so we've just talked about proper campus network design. So if you believe what we were talking about from a campus network design perspective, this has huge implications for how you do cabling on your campus. I've seen so many instances where, yeah, you need some cabling done and you just call your favorite cabling contractor and they'll come in and just run some cabling for you. You haven't really told them exactly what you want or how you want it done. And you end up with something that is less than ideal. And what we're gonna talk about in this section is what should you be doing? What kind of cable should you be running? And how should it be run? So this is a discussion of structured cabling systems. And it's very important that you pay a lot of attention to this and that you don't just have a cabling contractor that goes and does whatever they want to do. As you look at a campus, there's really only two types of cabling. There's unshielded twisted pair, and that provides service to individual computers and between network racks. And you have fiber optic cabling. This is going to provide service between buildings from your core location to each building and possibly between network racks. Everything is run in this hub and spoke or star configuration. So, you know, you're going to have a network rack that you run CAT 5E or CAT 6 cable out to individual station outlets that are in people's offices or to access points or to classrooms. You're going to have from your core location, you're from your central location, you're going to run fiber optic cable to each building, right? Very simple, simple, simple concepts. Well, it isn't quite that simple. So let's look at each one of these types of cabling in a little bit more detail. 